You know, someone once told me that virtual reality is like dreaming with your eyes open. I said, well, if that's the case, I hope I don't run into my high school math teacher in there. Imagine, you're exploring a virtual jungle and suddenly, there's Mr. Thompson with his dreaded pop quizzes. Now that's a reality nobody wants to virtually live in. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. First, we need to understand what virtual reality really is. So what is this virtual reality thing everyone's talking about? Well, imagine being able to climb Mount Everest without ever leaving your living room. That's right, with virtual reality or VR as it's often called, you can experience places, events, and situations that are either too far, too expensive, or too dangerous to experience in real life. To put it simply, virtual reality is a computer-generated simulation of a three-dimensional environment. It's like stepping into a video game where you can interact with the environment and the objects in it just like you would in the real world. Now you might be wondering, how does this all work? Well, it starts with a VR headset. When you put on this headset, you're transported into a digital world thanks to a pair of small screens right in front of your eyes. These screens show two slightly different angles of the same image, tricking your brain into perceiving depth. But it's not just about what you see. Virtual reality also involves what you hear and even what you feel. With surround sound headphones and haptic feedback devices, you can hear sounds coming from all directions and feel vibrations that correspond to what's happening in the virtual world. Imagine being in the middle of a virtual concert, feeling the bass thrumming in your chest, or being in a virtual battlefield, feeling the recoil of your virtual gun. That's the magic of virtual reality. And why is it such a hot topic nowadays? Well, the possibilities with VR are endless. From gaming and entertainment to education and training, VR is revolutionizing the way we experience digital content. It's not just about passively watching anymore, it's about actively participating. So next time someone talks about virtual reality, you can nod knowingly, because now you get it. It's not just some tech jargon, it's a new way to experience the world. So basically, with virtual reality, you're not just watching the action, you're part of it. Now, you might be wondering, how does this sorcery work? Well, let's dive into the magical world of virtual reality. Imagine putting on a pair of goggles that transport you to a completely different world. That's essentially what a VR headset does. These aren't your average sunglasses, folks. They're jam-packed with sensors that track your head movements and adjust the images you see accordingly. It's as if your head becomes a joystick, controlling the action with every turn and tilt. Now, let's talk about those funky-looking controllers. They're your hands in the virtual world, allowing you to interact with your surroundings. Whether you're throwing a virtual football or casting a spell in a fantasy game, these controllers make it feel real. But it's not all about the hardware. The software plays a huge part too. VR games and simulations are designed to create immersive environments that react to your movements. Whether you're exploring a haunted house or walking on the surface of Mars, the software is what brings these worlds to life. To sum it all up, the magic of virtual reality lies in its ability to trick your brain. By synchronizing your sight, sound, and touch, VR creates an illusion so convincing that your brain believes you're in a different place altogether. In other words, virtual reality is like a magic trick for your brain, convincing it that you're somewhere you're not. Well, that's all we have time for today. We've taken quite the virtual reality roller coaster ride, haven't we? We started off with a joke, remember? the one about the VR headset walking into a bar, and then we dove right into the nitty-gritty, explaining virtual reality in terms so simple even my technophobic Aunt Ethel could understand. We delved into the magic behind VR, unraveled how it manages to trick our brains into thinking we're somewhere we're not. But alas, we've reached the end of our journey. Thank you for sticking with me, even when the going got a bit too technical. Before we go, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our next video where we explore the wild world of VR. Who knows, you might even bump into your high school math teacher in there. So hit that subscribe button and let's avoid awkward virtual reunions together.